Amos 3. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family that I brought up out of the land of Egypt. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Do two walk together unless they have agreed to meet? Does a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from his den if he has taken nothing? Does a bird fall in a snare on the earth when there is no trap for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground when it has taken nothing? Is a trumpet blown in a city and the people are not afraid? Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has done it? For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken, who can not prophesy? I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed punish all evildoers. That is, when men are doing evil deeds and failing to repent and return to me, I say they will receive the punishment for what it is that they do. Therefore I say, do not ever doubt that I, the living God, am just in all of my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. For I say, it is me, the living God, who must punish the evildoers, who will not repent and turn unto me. Now I say, it is me, the living God, who is at this time giving forth the call to all men to repent that they would turn from wickedness and the evil of their way. That is, that they would see what it is that they've done towards me, what it is that they've done to others, and cease their activities of evil, and walk uprightly in me. But I say, when men are refusing to repent, and stubbornly and proudly choosing to go on in their own headstrong ways, what do they do? I say, they take themselves in the way of destruction, they take themselves in the way of despair, and I say, they will be punished by me. Now I say, when you see a man who is driven by demons possessed of the same, and only can think what new pleasure or leisure he gains from it all, no such a man is a fool. For I say, when he's doing the deeds of evil, when he's taking advantage of others and crushing them under his fist of oppression for his own gain, such a man is a blinded fool. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will indeed take vengeance upon him for all of the evil, for all of the wickedness that he has done. And I say, because he has chosen to go in a way of the damned, I say, he is a fool before me. Now I say, this day, that I, the living God, do not call my people to keep company with evil doers in the sense that they take up their evil deeds. For I say that my people are meant to keep walking in righteousness and holiness and be coming forth in me. And I say that the ones who will love and serve me and obey me will be guided in my way. And I say that they will be given the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give each and every day. Now I say, therefore, this day when you see what it is that men do in the deeds of wickedness, in the deeds of evil, why is it so? I say it is because they have chosen to oppose the very life, the truth that is bound in me. And I say they are going in a way that I did not intend, they are going in a way that does not come of me. And I say all the while they propose that they are so righteous, but it is not true. For I say there are those who are guilty of deeds of wickedness who are posing themselves as though they are so benevolent, so kind. But I say, all the while they are using the same as a cloak to cover the wickedness of their way. And I say, these ones are guilty before me of evil, just as the ones who flaunt their evil for all to see. For I say that evil is evil, whether it is evidently seen or hidden away, I say it is still seen by me. Therefore I say this day, do not be surprised when you see those who are doing evil come down by my hand, for I say that I will repay. And I say it is me, the living God, who will bring the counsel of the evil to naught, if they refuse to repent unto me. But I say if any man or woman is guilty of evil, yet I say that they will repent and run into me, then I say that they will be brought forth by me. And yes, they will be given the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that it is me, the living God, who does offer and give unto you the way of my truth, my life, my mercy, day by day. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be as the foolish who walk afar off from me. 
that is, that you do not need to be taken in that which I will have been God never ever intended for my own. For I say it is me that have been God who desires that my people will continue in repentance unto me coming forth in my way. That is, that they could be guided, directed, and corrected each day by me. Now I say this day there are multitudes who are indeed at this time desperately needy of repentance in their lives. And I say it is because they have been adversely influenced by evil and led far off from me. And I say they've been taken into captivity and slavery by those who are doing evil yet hiding the same. And I say they are affected by that and therefore they do evil themselves. Now I say this day when I live in God to give the call to all men and men will hear and obey and come forth in my way, I say they are found pleasing unto me. That is, if they will indeed be giving themselves over unto me, then I say they can be brought forth in my life. And yes, they can be given the truth and the strength, the mercy, the hope, and the peace that I provide for this need of a being God who is present to give unto them the same. But I say when a people will ignore my call, refuse the same, then I say they are doing evil before me. For I say when a man refuses to repent when he assumes that he is all right, when he is needy of repenting unto me, such a man is a fool. For I say that he's choosing a way that is far from me, he's choosing a way that is foolery, vanity, and pride. And I say in the process he deceives himself and others likewise in believing that yes, indeed, he is doing all right. But I say that the truth of it is he is losing because he is far from me. Now I say this day that I will have been God never called you to live in evil, to pursue the course of evil, and be overwhelmed in the same. But I say that I've called you to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say that I've called you to be thankful for the privilege to repent and take advantage of repentance in your life. For I say it is repentance that will keep you in the humility way that I provide. But I say when a man will be proud, I say that he will cover the evil that he is found guilty of and not allow the same to be revealed. And I say it is because he is choosing to be losing by walking far off from me. Now I say this day the idol living God do not call you to be found guilty of walking far off, not at all. But I say that I call you to walk uprightly, to come forth in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that you can look to me, believe upon me, and trust in me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the life source, who gives my mercy unto thee day by day. For I say, if you really consider the abundance of goodness, the abundance of mercy and truth and light that is found in me, then I say, you will be thankful always. But I say, if you are choosing to be losing by looking at the ones who are committing evil and being envious of them, then I say that you will be affected by the same. That is, in a way that will take you far from me. Now I say this day that I will have been God and indeed well able to repay all of those who do evil in this life. Therefore I say, do not doubt, do not accuse me, for I the living God am just in all that I do. And I say that my timing is perfect, and I say that I patiently call forth the sons of men. That is, I call them to repent, to turn from evil, and run in to me. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly refuse me time and again, I say they are merely filling up the cup of wrath that shall be given unto them. And I say that they will be beaten down, they will be overwhelmed, they will be destroyed because of their choices for evil. But I say that the ones who will accept my call and repent and return unto me and walk in my way, then I say they will be guided by me. For I say it is a joy unto me to guide the ones who are mine in the straight and narrow way. Now I say this day that I will have been God to intend you to believe upon me, to receive of me and be guided forth by me. And I say that I do intend that you would be thankful that I am indeed the I am God that is, the one who is able to direct, correct, and guide you forth each and every day. And I say it is me, the living God, who will give thee the multiplied blessings of who I am. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I give, what it is that I offer, I say be thankful unto me. 
That is, be thankful that I, the living God, will be with thee as you choose to walk in repentance with me. That is, continuing in the repentant frame of mind, the repentant way of life that I, the living God, do give to the ones who choose me. For I say, when men will choose me, I say they will not be under my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. But I say, when men will refuse to face their sins, to repent of the same, then I say their hearts are far from me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, will give to the ones who will serve me the way that is truth, the way that is light, and the way that is mercy. That is, it is a pleasure unto me to guide forth my people in the straight and narrow way. And I say it is a joy unto me to uplift, direct, and correct the ones who will believe upon me and trust in my way. For I say in times of gross darkness and evil on every hand, I say be thankful for the privilege to call upon me. That is, be thankful that you can partake of me, that you can be guided by me and instructed by me. Now I say therefore this day when you look upon the world as it is, it is full of all manner of evil and debauchery on every hand. And yes, there is contamination, defilement, and filthiness that is found in the hearts of men. But I say it is me, the living God, who is well able to wash away the sin, the darkness, the evil that they are guilty of, if they will but truly repent. For I say it is a joy unto me when men will change their ways and walk uprightly in me. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad to continue loving, serving, and obeying me each and every day. That is, that you can be guided, directed, corrected, and instructed in the way of my life, the way of my truth, the way of my mercy. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who walk in humility before me the straight and narrow way to guide them each and every day. But I say that the ones who are persistent and insistent in their evil, of course they pay for the same. I say this day that I, the living God, will give the love that I have stored for the ones who walk uprightly, and I say that the wrath shall be revealed upon the ones who refuse to obey. That is, the ones who are willfully evil, doing those things they know are wrong, and taking pleasure in the same. For I say that I, the living God, will give tender mercy to the ones who repent and change their lifestyle, their way, and walk in me. But I say that the ones who stubbornly, proudly continue in the way of the damned, of course they receive their just reward. Now I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, am here this day to direct, correct, and guide forth the ones who cleave to me. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed continue in humility, continue in repentance, revolution, and be ever kept in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give my mercy, my truth, and my life. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide forth the ones who trust, believe, and hope in me. Therefore I say, be thankful that I am the one, that I am the truth, that I am the light, and the mercy provided. And I say, be thankful that I will direct, correct, and bring you forth each and every day. For I say, it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust. It is me you can follow after. And it is me, the living God, who is the source given unto all who believe upon me. Therefore I say, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, to look to me, believe in me, and trust in me. For I say that I am indeed the one who guides you forth, and I am indeed the truth, the mercy, and the hope always. Therefore I say as you continue looking to me, believing in me, and trusting in me, you are guided forth by me. In the straight and narrow way, the repentance, revolutionary way, against the issues of sin and darkness and evil in your life. That you can come forth victorious because you are walking in the humility way that I give to my own.